Uh, good morning. Welcome to this devotion. When I was a child, we always used to mock the people coming from Gauteng to visit KZN over the Christmas holidays. We always would say that the kids, when they saw the sea for the first time, they would say, Kijk, kijk maar die groene dam. You know, in English we would say, look, mom, look, the big dam. And, and we always mocked them. And the other day it came back to haunt me. Um, we were on our way to Midmar Dam to go swim that capital K event. I mean, as we're coming around the corner, we had this magnificent view of the whole of Midmar Dam, really an astounding view. And my little three-year-old pops up from the back, um, Grandpa, look, look, the sea. <laughs> and after much, much laughing and mocking and correcting, he now knows the difference between a sea and a dam, and he knows that day he played in a dam. And this got me thinking, you know, why do we call the Sea of Galilee a sea? Okay, it's the, it's the lowest freshwater lake in the world. It's more than 200 meters below sea level. And it is huge. I mean, it's, it's over 12 k's by 19 k's, but it's, but it's still not a sea. I mean, it's, it's called a sea purely by definition. Everyone in antiquity referred to it as a sea, knowing that it's not salt water, knowing that it's not linked to the ocean, and yet they still called it a sea because it was of the sheer mass of water. So traditionally, they've always called it a sea. I'm just grateful I don't have to explain that to my little one. I mean, no, my boy, you know, that's not a sea. Uh, it's not a dam. It's, it's a lake, you know, and, and we're going to call it the sea. <laughs> you think I'm crazy. Uh, I, I was trying to explain the Trinity to a group of guys in prison the other day. Because they'd really got themselves into a knot. And I, I, I was explaining the difference between the three persons of the Trinity. And I've, and I've been spending a lot of time thinking about it. Because my home group, it came up for discussion with us too. Um, and, and I don't know what the answer is. You know, we know God is love. And I, and I certainly hope you know that God is love. Because the whole of our belief revolves around God loves us and us trying to navigate the life in the year now responding to this love um, and we and we know God loves us because this the son Jesus was sent to pave the way for a relationship between us between God and with others and Jesus not only paves the way for this relationship to succeed but Jesus also paves a way for us to wander off and 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 find another second chance and Jesus walked on earth and he spent a lot of time walking around this area called the Sea of Galilee and and as an expression of love they that is Jesus and God they sent the third person of the Trinity the Holy Spirit to be with each of us not only at a lake not only at that time but in the year and now and wherever we are the Spirit is in the year now. And the Spirit helps you and I navigate every day. And these three persons we refer to as, as one God. The God whom we read about in the Old Testament. The God whom we read about in the New Testament. The God who we see in the face of a baby. The God whom we see in the face of the destitute. This one God whom we see in the face of a beggar. This one God whom we see in the face of a prisoner. The God who is with you and I as we go through every day trying to figure out how to live a life that responds to this love of God. You know, that is a good opener to start a discussion on the Trinity. And I, and I hope you, you, you partake in many discussions of the Trinity. And I, and I also hope you know the difference between a sea, a lake, and a dam. And I hope that you look closely at the three in one God. And when you look closely, that you see love, <coughs> love, and love. And I hope you respond to this God of ours with love, love, love. Until we meet again, and Godspeed and blessings.